Okay, so we are on to uh, toilet training for puppies, tip number two. Um, by the way, this does work for adult dogs. If you've got a rescue dog, same principles apply. Um, so um, if you are around and you would like to, feel free to um, shoot me a comment, ask any questions. But uh, the main thing with this um, tip is you really want to tell your puppy where they should go. Um, you know, my, yesterday's tip was about making sure they can't go where you don't want them to go. <laughs> so you're preventing all those problems. But um, what you can do is show them where you want to go and make that the best spot. So um, there's a couple of strategies for doing that. Um, as a bonus, if you're going to be paying all this attention to your puppy around that, that issue of toilet training, you can actually teach them uh, a request so if you're about to head out and you know it's going to be a while, you can actually ask your dog if they need to go to the toilet. You can encourage them to go to the toilet. And they're like, oh, yeah, if you want me to, I can, I can empty out and, and then I'll be comfortable in the house or, or in the car wherever you're going to have them. So you can actually teach them a, a cue that will encourage them to go to the toilet. So that's a bonus of this. Um, so you've already got you, your... Um, you're fencing up, you've set your timer, you take your puppy outside. What you're going to do is take them to the spot that you want them to go. And when they do, you are going to have rewards for them. So that's tip number two is, is reward your puppy. Go out with them and reward them for going where you want them to. This is huge. Um, you know, if, if you've got a puppy who's going in the house, chances are that's just as rewarding as going outside. There's no, no reason for them to go anywhere in particular. So you've got to make going in the right spot the best option. So, um, you know, if you've got dramas, get in touch with me. I'm absolutely happy to talk to you about um, puppies having issues with toilet training. And it's such a common problem. People really um, struggle with it. I struggled with it, even though I know what I'm doing. Um, had a bit of a complication. Um, Oberon just did not want to be in the crate the first couple of nights. Um, his breeder was fabulous. She had him used to sleeping in the crate before he even hopped on the plane and came over. But for some reason, between there and here, he decided that that was not the place to be. Um, so he, his crate training got in the way for overnight. And then... <laughs> just throw a spanner in the works. He got a, a, a bladder infection. He, he had a urinary infection going and it took me a couple of days to figure that out. So, um, you know, life does throw you some challenges there. But um, when you really focus on rewarding what you want and get off to the vet with some antibiotics, it works really quickly to get them to do what you're wanting to do. Now, um, a couple uh, people have told me stories where they've had dramas where, you know, they're doing all the right things. They, they've got a pocket full of treats all day long and they go out every 10 minutes and they keep rewarding the puppy for going and peeing outside. But the puppy is still peeing in the house consistently. Um, and a couple of times I've, I've asked questions. And this is, you know, part of my job is to ask people questions and find out what the details are of what's going on at your house. What's going on in this particular situation? One story that's really memorable, a cute little border collie um, kept peeing in the house really consistently. Um, and I was asking, you know, what are you doing? You're giving them treats outside, playing outside after peeing, all that good stuff. But uh, when I got into the details, what was happening is after the puppy had done a puddle in the house, they'd get the mop out and the puppy would help them clean up the pee by chasing the mop. Guess what? For a border collie puppy, chasing a mop is way higher value reward than eating a few treats. So they were rewarding peeing in the house. They just didn't realise it. So that's a, a nice little extra tip here. Um, watch out when you are cleaning up. That should not be a rewarding experience for your puppy. You absolutely do not want to punish your puppy for going in the house because that'll make your life really difficult. They'll hide. They will intentionally go when you're not looking if you punish them. So don't go there. Um, but 
on the same token, they shouldn't be joining in with clean up as a fun game. <laughs> so if they pee in the house, they can go outside while you clean up. They can be excluded from the family circle for a whole five minutes. Oh no. Um, and that's punishment enough. So yes, give them those lots of opportunities. You've got to be going in and out that back door many, many times. Um, if you're in an apartment and you have a situation where you do want them peeing in a specific spot, that's the same as going outside. You're going to that spot. You're making a big deal of let's go sniff the pee spot. If you squat, you, we're going to wait for you to be done. We're not going to interrupt you halfway through because that's just rude. Um, but when you're done, we're going to have treats. We're also going to play. We're going to run around. We can make lots of noise. We can have a bit of a puppy party. So just make that that going to the spot where you want them to go absolutely fun. Now, I mentioned um, a second ago adding a, a name to it. There are particular times, and I'll talk about this in another tip as well, there are times when you just know they're going to pee or they're going to do poo. So um, as they are heading for the spot, you'll see that snipping happening, and you just quietly say whatever your phrase is going to be. Um, my breeder used hurry up quick. Um, I just use, do you need to go? Uh, just whatever occurs to you, just keep it consistent. Every time you see they're about to do it, you say the phrase. Wait for them to be done and then give them lots of rewards. So um, no one's posted any questions. Um, I suspect it's a Sunday. I suspect it's the sun's out. Oh, my goodness. People are probably outside instead of being on Facebook. So good for you. Um, I am going to get back outside too. We've got bulk rubbish coming through. So I've got to go um, drag all my tree trimmings out to the curb. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another toilet training tip. So um, I will probably see you there. We're going to be a little bit earlier tomorrow. Um, it's going to be more like 11.30. If you can't get there live on your lunch break, then absolutely uh, catch the recording afterwards. Um, yeah, so any questions in the meantime, do uh, feel free to comment or post on it or just give me a ring. Um, and, uh, yep, yeah, I'm Mara from Dog Training Help. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.